One of the first things parents do when their children are born is count fingers and toes. But how often do they look at the eyes? After he was born, um, as he would look at us, I would see one of his eyes turn inward. Um, so I, I know that babies cross their eyes a lot, but um, he was getting to the point where he was like three, four months old where they should be, um, it should stop happening. So in August, Susanna Mall took her five-month-old son Carter to see the pediatrician. A month and a half later, Carter's eyes turned white. Cataracts, my first thought was, you know, an, an, an elderly person, um, an, an, an old dog. Yeah, I've seen a lot of dogs that have them. I mean, it's true. You see, like, the white eye, um, the pupil. Um, I, I was amazed. I didn't know that children could actually get them. Cataracts are very much like cataracts in, in, a, in older adults. They tend to develop more rapidly, and sometimes the children are actually born with them. Complete cataract. So a cataract is when the lens is opaque instead of clear. Dr. Michael Strzok of the UW Ophthalmology Department performed surgery on Carter back in October. But to truly measure Carter's progress, he's back for a cutting edge procedure. What we're going to do is uh, record his brain waves. It's called visual evoked cortical potentials, or okay. VECP for short. What we're doing is recording the brain waves, the EEG from the visual part of the brain, which is located in the back of the head. So I put some electrodes, little probes on the scalp in some lotion that recorded the electrical response of the brain to visual stimulation. Using an infrared camera to see his eyes, Dr. Jim Verhove and Becky Richter can monitor little Carter's vision with what in essence is an electronic version of an eye chart. We're presenting a very precise pattern of stripes that starts from uh, wide stripes uh, like the big letter on the eye chart and rapidly decreases in stripe width until it's like the smallest E on the eye chart. And because the stripes are also vibrating, there's movement in the stripes, that causes a corresponding reaction in the brain and we can detect when the brain stops responding. I think probably what we do is at the pinnacle of what's being done in the country. It's critical because without the feedback in terms of visual development, our treatment is, is just based on the, the observation, not on any feedback on how it's really working. That feedback is what allows Dr. Strzok to deliver this news to Susanna and Carter. The surgery looks like it's healing really well. And instead of fingers and toes, today the malls are counting their blessings. Mark Lovacott, WISC News 3. We may have to change.